Hey guys, welcome to my channel Economics at a Glance. So guys, we have covered elasticity. Well, what it is, its different types and different measurement methods of elasticity individually. Okay, so today in this lecture, I will discuss what are the factors that affect the elasticity of demand. If you have any doubt, any problem in this topic, you are very free to ask in the comment box. And for more updates, you can follow me in Facebook, Instagram and Telegram, the link I have mentioned here. Okay, so let's get started. Well, there are nine factors, of, uh, nine factors that affect elasticity of demand. Individually, they are nature of commodity, availability of substitutes, income level, level of price, postponement of consumption, number of users share in the total expenditure time period and habits well individually i will cover one by one so let's get started first one is nature of commodities well there are two kind of goods one you can say necessities like every day you need to have it okay another thing is luxury which will give you a wealthy life or prestigious life which we used to call our wavelength goods okay so necessities are such kind of goods we need to have every day without it we cannot survive so in this case what happens even price increase or decrease it will not affect our consumption behavior much okay let's say even price increase or decrease people will go on consuming on daily need basis let's say example medicines vegetables food grains even price increase or decrease let's say price has been increased of medicine so you uh, will you stop uh, consuming medicines no you will consume because it is our necessity so even price increase or decrease it will not affect our consumption behavior in a larger extent so price change will not affect the quantity demand in a greater extent okay clear then coming to luxury luxury is the goods which we use to purchase when we have more amount of money like air conditioner the luxury car iphone okay so in this case what happens a small change in the price will leave people with a greater change in demand of these products why see let's say i will tell you that the price of iphone has been decreased okay so what will you do you will go for consuming more because you are in thought of that maybe or may not be in the near future it will not decrease so now the price has been decreased let's go for it yes or no so this is the condition a small decrease in the price will go on increasing the purchasing behavior of consumer in case of luxury goods this is the reason why the necessity uh, goods it is inelastic demand that means small change or large change in price it will not affect the consuming or quantity demand of a commodity so in elastic demand and elasticity value is less than one here in case of luxury what happens a small change in price will go on affecting the quantity demand of a commodity affected by a larger extent that is why it is elastic demand that is e greater than equal sorry greater than one Again, in general, what happens? It depends on frame of mind. Why? See, for rich people, air conditioner is a necessity. Okay. But for poor, it is a luxury good. So we cannot like classify these goods on basis of people. Okay. Because it varies from one's frame of mind. Fine. Okay. Next is number of substitutes. See, in generally, we will see if there are more substitute of a commodity, the elasticity will be more. And if the substitute of a commodity is less, it is less elastic. Why? See, if a good has more substitute, a small change in the prices will induce the buyers to go for its substitutes. How? See, this is a phone. It's Samsung and it's Redmi. Let's say I will tell that the price of Samsung is raised. I mean increased okay so what do you will do okay samsung price has been increased so let's move to redmi okay so now consumer shifts to redmi getting my point if a product has more substitute if price will change then the buyers will shift to its substitute similarly in the coke see if price of pepsi has been increased then consumer will shift to coca-cola yes or no so this is the reason okay if consumer will shift to coca-cola the what happened 
the quantity demand of pepsi will decrease because people will not prefer the pepsi now so quantity demand will decrease that means a change in price when price increased that change in price will give rise to a more amount of decrease in quantity demand which is more elastic fine in case of commodity which have no substitute even the price increase or decrease people will go for it because there is no substitute there is no other option so people have to have it so in that case what happens it is less elastic or we can say inelastic next one is income level see for the higher income group people the elasticity is less elastic but for the lower income level groups it is more elastic why see what happens in case of rich people rich people are not influenced much by the change in prices they can afford it see for an example for the ambani group do you think any change in the price will affect their consuming behavior no because they are hardly thinking about the price changes but in case of poor people or you can say middle class people even a small change in price will affect their consuming behavior so poor people are highly affected by the increase or decrease in prices okay getting the concept okay next one is level of prices see high price goods generally what happens here it is highly elastic why highly elastic demand is very sensitive to changes in their prices because they are high priced goods okay we need to have this product for expending more amount of our money so a small change or small decrease in this prices what happen see for a plasma tv we need to expend hardly some lakhs rupees okay some lakh rupees we need to invest to have a plasma tv suppose we need uh, we came to know that uh, the price of this plasma tv has been declined or decreased so what will be our behavior we will go for purchasing immediately yes or no because we are in fear that whether near future it will increase so let's just buy it now yes or no so this is the condition a small change in price will affect the consumer behavior that is the demand of that particular product in a larger extent so this is the reason why for the high priced goods the elasticity is very high or more elastic in case of less priced goods what happens it is less elastic how see in case of matchbox and salt we hardly we need to expend some 20 to 30 rupees for a salt and 1 to 2 rupees for a matchbox so any kind of changes in the prices will not affect our expending behavior okay if salt has been declined to 15 rupees so do you think you will go for purchasing five from five packets of salt to 10 packets of salt no because what you will do of that 10 packet salt hardly you can use six packet salt or or seven packet salt you cannot consume more than that or same in the case of matchbox also so in this case any changes in price will not affect the consumer in larger extent okay so in this case what happens less elastic demand so remember when the price of the good is high it will be highly elastic less price good less elastic fine okay next is postponement of consumption postpone means we can delay that okay what happens here see commodities with urgent demand that means you need to have it now otherwise you cannot survive they have inelastic demand because of their immediate requirement like life saving drugs or medicines see in case of medicines like you are in fever or any kind of disease happen to you so you need to have that medicine now but if the price has been increased or decreased any kind of changes in price happen okay but do you think do you uh, think about the consumption of that medicine no because you need to have it right now so the price change will not affect your demand for that medicine so any price change will not affecting the demand that means it is inelastic okay in case of the commodities like chocolates cookies milk what happens the commodities whose demand is not urgent okay we can postpone they are highly elastic demand as their consumption can be postponed in case of increase in price see when the price of chocolate or cookies has been increased so what you will do okay price has been incre increased let's just buy it uh, another day why to waste money like the 
price of chocolate has been increased let's not having chocolate today tomorrow or day after tomorrow we will consume that means we can postpone the consumption of this normal goods so in this case for the commodities which we can postpone the consumption in that case it is highly elastic why highly elastic when the price increases we will just postpone the consumption we are not consuming it we are not consuming it means the demand has been decreased yes or no so the change in price will affect our demand hence it is highly elastic okay getting the point okay next is number of uses see what happens if a commodity has several uses demand will be more elastic if commodity has no alternative uses it will be less elastic that means more use more elastic no use less elastic how see let's take an example of electricity electricity is a commodity if we will take it as a commodity it can be used in several uses yes or no like fan air conditioner for refrigerator for light bulbs for different purposes in our daily life in factories we are using electricity fine so what happens when the price of such commodity let's say electricity increases it is generally what happens we will do so we will put to only most urgent uses most urgent uses means most preferred one we will use when the price will increase so what happens we will use only for the most urgent uses that means we are not using for all the purposes which we used to do in previous time that means when the price has been increased and we are diverting that commodity to only most urgent uses so here the demand falls because we are not using for every cases yes or no so the change in the price affect our demand yes or no yes so here it is more elastic similarly when the price of such commodity decreases suppose price of electricity has been declined so it is used for even less urgent needs also okay now price has been decreased so we will use for every cases so what happens our demand increases so the change in price again affect our demand so this is the reason why a commodity that has been used for several uses in that case it will be more elastic and the commodity having no alternative use even price increase or decrease you have to buy that so in that case it will be less elastic fine okay next is share in total expenditure see the thing is here yeah, greater the proportion of income spent on the commodity more will be the elasticity of demand that means the commodity for which larger proportion of income you are expending that is more elastic more elastic and the commodities for which you have to spend less proportion of your income that is less elastic why see let's take an example of laptop okay you have to expend hardly uh, let's say minimum 50000 60000 to buy a laptop yes or no so this is a much amount of income here you are expanding higher proportion of income so in this case what happens when the price decreases let's say the same dell company i will uh, you might have seen like 30% discount 40% discount so in that case what happens consumer when sees that there is 30% discount in laptop he immediately go to purchase it why because small in sorry small decrease in the price will attract the consumer he is eager to buy it because he knows that after that same time he is not able to get that laptop in that same price yes or no so small change in price will affect the consumption of consumer in a larger extent that means change in price will affect the quantity demand so it is more elastic okay but in case of salt and matchbox as i have told you lesser amount of income we are spending on it whether the price increase or decrease it will not affect our expanding behavior so it will be less elastic okay then coming to time period see it is very easy for the short period it will be inelastic for long period it will be elastic why see in short period consumer find it difficult to change their habits in short period we cannot change our consumption behavior okay like food grains like they are in the market we have to take it and we will consume and we cannot change our consumption behavior in this short period so any kind of commodity for the short period the demand will be inelastic 
but in long period what happens we have proper time to shift our consumption so in that case it will be elastic see because it is easier to shift to other substitutes when the price of the commodity rises if we have longer period we can shift but if we have uh, no long time period we have short period of time we cannot shift so in that case it will be inelastic next is habits see here what happens commodities which are habitual necessities for consumer like you have already been in habit for that commodity in case this will be less elastic why less elastic see the alcohol for drunkards then the cigarettes for smokers what happens here see the drunkard have a habit of consuming the alcohol every day whether alcohol price has been increased or decreased it will not affect him because he needs to have alcohol every day okay whether price has been increased he will consume whether price has been decreased he will consume the same amount yes or no so in that case what happens the price change will not affecting the demand so what happens here if it is a habitual necessity then it will be less elastic demand okay so with this all the factors affecting the elasticity got over still if you have any doubt you are very free to ask in the comment box in the next lecture i will come with the numericals of elasticity with some mcqs also till then stay with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you